In this example, circles D and E are congruent. So EB is 5x minus 6 and AD or 3x plus 8. What is important about those two? Well, EB is the radius of circle E and AD is the radius of circle D. Since they're congruent circles, that means their radii must be congruent. So these two segments must be congruent. So I can set their lengths equal. All right, so I am set 5x minus 6 equal to 3x plus 8 and solve for x by uh, subtracting 3x from both sides. And I get 2x minus 6 is 8. Add 6 to both sides and I get 2x equals 14. Divide both sides by 2 and x is 7. So I'll go ahead and calculate the length of EB, that, or actually AD. Actually, it doesn't matter. It could be EB or AD. Let me go ahead and fix that just because technically that is uh, AD that I plugged into. So anyways, I'm ca uh, calculating the length of AD, which is 3 times 7 plus 8. So I'm going to get 21 plus 8 or 29. So I can put 29 on EB, AD, and all of those congruent radii. Now I can calculate the radius of this large circle, which is AB, by multiplying those segments by 4. So AB is 116, but I'm actually looking for the diameter BC, which is twice the radius, which in this case is 230.